Hey everybody, how's it going? Goof that one up real fast. Hey everybody, how's it going? Thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Chris, AKA Sparta Chris, and uh, I am towards the end of week five of CrossFit Boot Camp, uh, which I have been talking about in the last several videos. So I wanna give an update on how things are going, as well as uh, a mental health update as well, because I've had a little bit of stuff in both camps this week. So the wrist is healing up a little bit. I know I talked about in the last uh, video about how I do have a little bit of like a, a ligament injury here. Um, the pain has gone from all the way down here to up through the thumb and wrapping around to pretty much just here and just a little bit of soreness here. But that's great, so the, the exercises and the stretches that I have been doing have really been helpful. I'm gonna keep that up, even past the point of eliminating the pain, just because I wanna strengthen this wrist, because both my wrists do feel kinda weak when I'm doing things like a pillar, like um, push-ups, anything like that, where I'm putting a lot of pressure on the wrist does get kinda painful, so I'm having to usually compensate by going on my fists, or by grabbing dumbbells and using that to try to keep those wrists straight. And CrossFit is still a ton of fun. I'm really enjoying it. And in fact, uh, Rochelle and I are going to sign up to do the boot camp again. We do want to transition into the regular CrossFit class, but with the wedding coming up and then the honeymoon after that, and then Christmas and all of that kind of stuff, the month of December is gonna be kind of a wash. So we're going to do the boot camp one more time through November, and then we'll do our thing in December and just kind of try to exercise when we can. Then when we come back, we will either do the boot camp a third time or we'll jump into CrossFit from that point. The only issue that I'm really having, aside from having the weak wrist, is I am having a little bit of problems with my shoulder. And this isn't really something new. I have had shoulder problems for several years. And that comes from when I was younger, lifting weights and, and doing moves above the shoulders without proper form, which I think did damage a little bit of this uh, area right up here. So I am getting a little bit of pain and soreness there. There's certain movements I do that really put a lot of strain on that. And I'm learning how to um, compensate for that, such as when doing push-ups. Um, a lot of times you might be told to do push-ups with, um, you know, trying to keep your arms about shoulder width apart and keep your elbows in close to the body. I've worked with the trainers a little bit and found that it's better for me to actually keep my hands out past my shoulders. And that's taking a little bit of the tension off of where that's hinging right now because what's happening is that tendon there um, is kind of like, it's like catching. So it's making this popping sensation, which is not super fun, and it does uh, uh, get a little swollen and, and worn right there, and I wanna keep from committing like more injury and stuff to it. So I'm having to be careful with that, squeezing the shoulder blades back when I am doing movements, um, especially doing things like the overhead press, that is kind of a hard one for me, but making sure those shoulder blades are back and then lifting up. See, doing this movement right here while I'm squeezing those shoulder blades, there's no popping sensation. I'm not feeling that pressure where it hurts. Whereas if I'm not putting the shoulder blades back and I'm just kind of, you know, got my arms up like this, right there, that doesn't feel great. And I'm getting a little bit of a pop right here. So I'm trying to be really conscious of the position my shoulders are in when I do things. I'm also trying to do some exercises to help with that. So I did say I have some mental health updates as well, and that's something that I really wanted to talk about. On this channel, I tend to do a little bit of physical and mental health. Um, usually those videos are pretty separated until it gets to how my mental health does affect my physicality. Um, this video is gonna talk about a little bit of both things. So I am still doing the CrossFit stuff. I'm figuring out ways to improve my injuries and, and try to prevent them. So to the mental part, Rochelle is now facilitating an anxiety support group here in the community through NAMI, which is the National Alliance on Mental Illness. And it's an open door support group. People can come and go as they want to. There is like a book that her and her co-facilitator work out of. And it's 
a super awesome group. We had the very first meeting um, this past Wednesday and we had a really good turnout. There's a lot more people, I think, than we anticipated. And my anxiety is pretty under control lately. I've definitely had a few moments of, of anxiousness for various reasons, be it work-related, be it preparing for the wedding, be it um, health-related. So, I mean, just kind of the normal stuff for me. So I kind of went to this meeting, wanted to support Rochelle and what she's doing in the community because it's amazing because there has not been any support for anxiety in this community until this point. Two is because I want to go and, and share things about myself, share my story in hopes um, the, I mean, for the same reasons that I do it on here in hopes that somebody, you know, might take something from it and also to learn from other people just as much. And I feel like I learned a lot the other day. And some of the things that really stuck with me is the, the variety of ways that anxiety manifests in people and how they react to it. So one thing that was really interesting that stuck out to me is my panic attacks are very different than some other people's panic attacks. It's really that fight or flight kind of response, right? To stress. So some people might just kind of freeze in the moment and, and they can't move. They Someone described it as feeling glued to the chair and and they can't hear things. They, they can't listen to people talking. They need quiet they because they're just so overwhelmed they can't move they're frozen in place where i'm literally the exact opposite where i can't stop moving if my anxiety really manifests i am up on my feet i am pacing i'm moving around i can't stop so i can't sit and relax and then just as as well the ways to combat that is different for everybody as well like i need to find a way to ground and center myself to slow down and stop moving while others need to just kind of get their thoughts in in order and try to calm down that way it, in a weird way there's some beauty to that i mean it sucks that we experience things like anxiety and depression however because the way we experience things is unique to each of us regardless of if anxiety is caused by similar things whether it's um, stress at work whether it's relationships whether it's trauma or whether it's just straight up anxiety about just in general we all react in our own ways to our own struggles and our solutions are just as unique for everybody so you can't go and say um, you know, if, if you feel yourself anxious, oh, you should listen to the song, sing your favorite song in your head or something like that and, and change your thought process. That could work for someone, but it doesn't mean it's going to work for everyone. And there's a beauty in that trying all the different methods, uh, to find out what works for you is basically getting to know yourself better, like on a, on a more sophisticated and intimate level, because we're having to go past our conscious mind and, and kind of access that subconscious and learn the things that our subconscious is doing, especially in those moments of stress and panic. And I feel personally that the more you get to know yourself on that kind of level, then the more under control you're going to feel when you start approaching those moments. I've basically learned how my anxiety influences my thoughts and have been making those strides towards making that separation in those moments. You're constantly learning more about yourself and the more you learn about yourself, the more you can try to combat these negative feelings, whether that's acknowledging that it's happening in the moment or whether it's acknowledging other things that you can do to refocus that energy into something positive rather than something negative. And it's not gonna happen for everyone the same way, like I said, and that is kind of a cool thing. As much as it would be easy to just say there is a one size fits all solution, which would be great, but that's just not how life works, you know? So if you are struggling with things like anxiety, depression, things like that, I would recommend you going and trying out a support group just at least once just to kind of see how it goes, see if you do learn anything, see if uh, there's something that you can share that could help other people. Again, you know, don't say something like, well, this is what you should do. Don't try to offer advice to people. Just share what you know to be true about yourself 
because it really needs to be up to everybody else on what the solution is and they can try different things before they figure out what works best for them. Thank you again for clicking on this video and watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you feel inclined. If you enjoyed this episode or if you feel like anything in here would benefit someone that you know, please share this, whether it is word of mouth, whether it is on social media and email, even just clip the part of the video that you think would apply to someone you know. I mean, my main goal is just to let other people know that there are people out there with similar struggles and hoping that something I say might resonate with them. So if you do know somebody that could benefit from this, please share this with them. Also, I do want to mention that if you live in the upper Midwest, so Wisconsin, Minnesota, the Dakotas, maybe Northern Iowa, I will be speaking at DeLucon on October 19th in Duluth, Minnesota. Joseph, my uh, partner from Nerd Sloth, my podcast network, uh, we will be there at the Nerd Sloth panel um, talking about podcasting and all the other stuff we do, like on YouTube, on Twitch, all that good stuff. Um, so come, ask us questions, just chat with us, hang out a little bit. So we will be there um, after 11 a.m. is when the panels start. And there's going to be a lot of other fun stuff at DeLucon as well. Cosplay, there's going to be games, food, all kinds of stuff. So definitely if you are in the area, come check that out again October 19th. There's also going to be some stuff October 18th the night before. That is it for this video. Again, thank you so much for checking this out. Make sure to take care of yourself and keep fighting.